So we're now going to add the second part, the male part of our, our hardware. Um, I did manage to get, as soon as I turned the camera off, I could get, I got the um, piece in the flap, just went in straight away. Um, I think it just doesn't like being watched. <laughs> um, I thought at first that I'd cross-threaded the screws because I'd salvaged it from a, a, the hardware from something else, but it wasn't, it was just me being awkward. So here's the second part of my, um, my lock. Now, any three quarter inch uh, lock that's less than a three quarter inch or less high will work. However, the more substantial the lock, the bigger, the nicer the lock, um, the better this will be. If you use a very tiny lock, there's gonna be an awful lot of pressure put on that lock. Um, if you're holding the handle, if all the weight is either on the handles or on the lock. So you've got to be very careful. So using a slightly larger, when I say larger, I mean wider lock, um, is a good idea. It gives it more stability. So on my accent panel, on my front of my bag, which is obviously the bit not, that hasn't got the flap on it, I've marked the centre. And I'm just going to use, I'm just going to figure out which, which holes my, um, the prongs on the back of my hardware go through. So they go through the end one and the second to end. Now these washers that come with these things are sort of generic. You just get a load of them and they're, they come, they're either this size or slightly bigger or slightly smaller and they don't necessarily fit the hardware. So you do need to just kind of double check to make sure that you're not using the, the end hole, you know, that you're using the right holes um, when you make your marks. Let me just, where's my pen gone? I've lost my marking pen now. Oh hopeless let's use that one I do so so I'm going in one two three so I know where my center point is so I'm laying the washer onto my um, accent panel and that will just give me the idea of where I need to cut. I've got a cutting mat underneath. Again I'm using a craft knife because that's my that's my preferred way of cutting. If you use a seam ripper please be careful because if you go too far then you've got a disaster on your hands. I'm just going to make sure that I've got this the right way around and I'm going to pop the, the prongs of the hardware through. And then I'm going to add the washer on the back. And push those prongs out to the side. Now I um, will always put a piece of uh, duct tape over the back of this. I don't appear to have any here, so I'm gonna have to go and get some from my cupboard. Um, just to protect the lining but you can see that's fitted beautifully so I'll come back once I've, I'll, I'll put some of that on and I will come back and show you the next stage <laughs> 